Look, Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. <gasps> and Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. It still hasn't sunk in, you know? We really did it. We really saved the world. Yes. Mordigan plunged Erdria into darkness. So many lost their lives. But we survived. We have to make the most of that. We have to laugh and smile for those who can't. We may feel like crying. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. Pull yourselves together! You've saved the world, you idiots! What are you blubbering for? <laughs> Excuse my awful impression. <laughs> 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 Ah, here you all are. Huh? Mm -hmm. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. It's party time. Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. Looks like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica.
You're going. Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? Oh, don't be like that. Let's try this again, shall we? Sneaking off without us, honey. <laughs> of course we can. Now the world is at peace, the fun can really begin. If you're looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss. Thank you. Go 
now. <laughs> hmm? I trust you've been staying out of trouble, Father. Well now, Jade! All of you! How good to see you! I'm sorry, Father. I've been busy letting my hair down while you've been here rebuilding the village. You have earned your rest. For now, you must enjoy some free time with your companions, and leave the hard work to us. But when Cobblestone has been rebuilt, work will begin at last on restoring the capital to its former glory. When that time comes, I shall need my daughter by my side. Oh, I'll be there. Don't you worry. We'll rebuild Heliodor together. Required so much stamina. <sighs> Norberto, what are you doing here? I did not expect you to return so soon. Hey, Sim. Your dad said he needed to get his strength back, so we agreed to teach him a few moves. He's natural, don't you know? Took to it like a duck to water, he did. But then he is your puppy, I suppose. Silencio! Ah, enough with your nonsense! A man needs his peace and quiet. Take your silly dancing somewhere else! <gasps> Don't go taking that tone with us, mister. You were the one who was talking about wanting to surprise Sylv with a little show. <gasps> oh. A show? Oh, yes. You should have heard him. Couldn't stop going on about how he's a big dance fan now. And he sees why you love it so much. Papi, is this true? Of course not. It is nonsense. I am a knight. I do not have time for dancing. It is pointless frivolity. <gasps> oh, Papi, I'm so happy. When do I get to see the full routine? The full? Hmm. Well, now. <clears throat> Come on, puppy. A night. 
Mike's word is his bond, remember? Fine! Come, chicos. We will show Norberto what we can do. We will give him the performance of a lifetime. The training ground will serve as our stage. We begin preparations immediately. Venga, venga! It's me again. I've popped back a few times since peace returned. I think I might have overdone it with the wreaths a little. <laughs> but I'm not here just to lay flowers today. No. I have some news for you both. Now that the Lord of Shadows is no more, I've decided it's high time we got Dundrasil back in his feet. It'll take time, and effort, and... Well, people. But we'll do it, you'll see. And we'll build you two a proper tomb while we're at it. <sighs> Can it really have been so long? So much time has gone by. It's over now. <sighs> ah, look at me. Oh, teary-eyed again. I can't help myself lately. I must be getting sentimental in my old age. <laughs> Bye, 
Bye for now, you two. I'll be back soon enough. What's the hold up, laddie? Let's get going. We can see you, Mia. Come on out. No, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. The Lord of Shadows is gone, and the world's at peace. So what are you sulking about? I'm not sulking. It's just... The priest told me what happened. I don't remember any of it. But he said I turned into a monster and terrorized the town. He said I even tried to hurt you. <sighs> you and your friends must hate me for what I did. I'm plenty used to being hated, but still. <gasps> hey, what's this? Somebody's dropped a gold coin on the floor. the Mia I know. Sitting in the corner feeling sorry for yourself doesn't suit you, kiddo. Oh, you tricked me! Now I feel stupid for worrying you didn't like me any... 
<gasps> Why don't you stop worrying about stuff that doesn't matter and start worrying about yourself? You need to get better. I can't exactly take you on a treasure hunt if you're going to be fainting every five minutes. <gasps> a treasure hunt? Sure. Soon as you've got your strength back, we'll go on a trip round the world on the lookout for loot. Just you and me. What do you say? <sighs> oh, uh, uh, well, uh, if it's something you really want to do, I suppose I don't mind keeping you company. <laughs> This looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. I've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting.
this painting. It's fascinating. It really draws you in, doesn't it? Hmm? It reminds me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. Spirits of lost time? Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe, or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Veronica. Veronica. <gasps> Do you really think we could bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of lost time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to Tower. Key to Time. Key brings spirits. Sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... What have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <laughs> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm -hmm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So... How do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of their islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? <gasps> you found the Wheel of Time, honey. You are just too good at this. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. Matter, darling. You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, 
What say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there? Looks like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits of lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. Thank you. 
timekeeper, the flow of time, of destiny. I watch over them, guide them. But what are you? I am just what I say I am, and that is all I am. I hope you don't mind us intruding, but we heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can, well, that can bring people back. We've lost someone very special, you see, and, well, we were hoping you might be able to help us. to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost Savored, remembered. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments, to return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, Time itself must be destroyed. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... I. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. I. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. Huh? The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I 
know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere, and only with the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here, to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present? Your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? I'm sorry. But you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Hmm. Hmm. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way.
the decision is made, then you must know all that I know. Wait! <gasps> when you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you... in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, He'll have a few words to say before you go. You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I... I 
suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, <laughs> if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. The time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. shot. See you on the other side. Achieving eternal life, but I know one thing: we're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck.
Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice!
I'll swine some. <laughs> Let's do this. Who else wants some? <laughs> I'll swan some. <laughs> Another one bites the...
Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Oh. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Hmm. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf from one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would... help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do.
Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. This is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. No, laddie. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm.
How in the... Damn you, Jasper! How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> My powers... repelled, but... how? Wait... That sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Your journey ends here.
And what do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. C curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? Master, help me. Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Darkspawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come. Let me look at you. Mm. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, Fighting his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time.
It is beautiful, magnificent. May I take a closer look? Uh. Ah! What, what was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert. You are the defenders of Yggdrasil, the unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. wronged you. But in time I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor.
Honored Luminary, 
It gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think I once thought ill of you. Saw you as a harbinger of calamity. Called you unconscionable things. Oh, truly, Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I owe you a great deal. You have revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sire. about you. I heard all these horrible stories. I, I thought you, you might be. Right after you left the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village and then, then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. And so is your granddad, I'm sure. <laughs> Now, let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our saviour awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honoured, celebrated, adored.
What is this? Why can I not touch the sword? Surely, it cannot be. Accursed luminary, give it to me. Give me the sword of light. It belongs to me. <gasps> What's going on in here? Princess, what is the meaning of this? Arrgh. I knew it! You're not my father! Look at you! You're a monster, not a man! You blight, are you? I had a feeling in my waters that something wasn't quite right with you, Carnelian. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches... Wow, that's cold. So who are you? He disappeared. Oi, you! Stop skulking in the shadows! Come out and show your stupid face! Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle. Thank you. 
run around you. We've got you cornered. Now let the king go and show us your true form, fiend. <laughs> Unmasked at last. I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. But the game ends here. I have wasted too much time already waiting for you to lead me to the Sword of Light. And since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Very well. Come to Mordigan like good little lambs and die. Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but his majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been a serviceable puppet over the years, Hendrik. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk in hell. <sighs> My... You mean it was you? You who massacred my people? It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The families torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many. And now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones. My countrymen. They must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. Well, Luminary, what are you waiting for? Come, give me your power, that I may rule over this world unopposed. Prepare to meet your end. On your feet now. Go!
Oh, I almost feel bad about this. Ugh. None shall pass. Dazzlement, be gone! Kazam! Father! Father, are you all right? Jade, can it really be you? Have I been dreaming? The, the last I remember is the attack on Dundrasil. After that, all is... Black. Wait, that mark. The child, the luminary. But you were a mere babe in arms when I last saw you. There is clearly much we need to discuss, but... But you must forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <coughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. Come on, let's get you to bed. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? Oof. Those two are going to have a lot to catch up on, huh? A lot.
I know the truth now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. A true hero stands among us. Adria is eternally in your debt. You are a worthy heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary, our light, and our hope. <laughs> you really did it, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Veronica? <laughs> I don't know. I just welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you, I suppose. <laughs> but where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. I'm being stupid, sorry. Thank you... for everything. What's going on? I sense something awful, something truly, truly evil. But where is it coming from? What was it Mordigan said just before he died? Something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time, right? But what did he mean? Your Highness, please, you must come quickly. It's Erdwin's lantern. What? Uh. The balcony, upstairs, quickly. I have never seen its like. Look! Over there! Erdwin's lantern! It's falling! Mordigan is no more. Now, 
Edwin's lantern has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. I dare make this request of no other, Luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The Great Star fell to Earth in the Celestial Sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion.
it. It's enormous. You can say that again. What the heck is it? It's giving off waves of... Oh, I don't know what, but... Whatever it is, it's certainly not pleasant. Well, then it can't be Erdwin's lantern, can it? We need to do something about it, whatever it is. But how do we even get up there? Well, well, dear Luminary. It seems you were in quite the pickle. Huh? 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 But how? Mordigan, you're alive! You're seeing me as Mordigan now, you say? How very intriguing. Well, no need to panic. I'm not Mordigan. It's me, the one you people call the Seer. Wait, how can you be the Seer? Oh, anyone can be the Seer, my young friend. Or should I say, Seer can be anyone. Depends on how you look at things, really. Anyway, we can't have you all on edge like this now, can we? One moment. There. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was having a lovely vision of you all, riding Cetacea to see the Watchers. Um, what the heck are you talking about? Let's just say that the hallowed tones of the Flute of Legend will carry you to every corner of the land, and leave it at that, shall we? The what of the what will what? Honey, you're not making any sense. You don't have much time, you know. I wouldn't stand there gawping like that if I were you. Hmm. <gasps> I don't know how legendary it is, but we do have a flute. Do you think this could be the one? Well, it's the only one we've got. Can't hurt to give it a go. Kind of a huge, enormous whale um, flying through the air? Didn't the seer mention us riding something called Cetacea? Oh my, she couldn't have meant that, could she? Hmm? What's that gormless grin for? Anyone would think you went flying around on whales for fun. Well, I'm game if you are. All aboard! We've got a whale to catch and some watches to meet.
This place is insane. Who builds a town on a rock in the sky? Long ago, all was peace. All was harmony. Yggdrasil blessed us, faithful servants of World Tree. Hmm. <laughs> Shadow fell. Horror from above. Kalasnas. Now Shadow falls again. Perhaps he returns. Perhaps. Kalasnas. Dark one. Hater of life. Bringer of death. Luminary. Cetacea rider. No time. Come. Speak with Elder. These'll be the Watchers that Seer Lassie was on about then, eh? It seems they know something of the Dark Star. Come, let us speak with their Elder.
Wisest Watcher, Eagle Town. <laughs> Elder lives for all time, sees all, sleeps much, wakes seldom. Thought would wake for Luminary, but no. Listen, tell Watcher story. Look. Ancient times. Kalasmos comes, seeks power, power of Yggdrasil, brings evil, monsters, miasma, destruction. But Yggdrasil sees, sends savior, Erdwin, luminary, ancestor, rides Cetacea, crosses Erdria, Gathers companions. Drusten, warrior. Serenica, sage. Morkant, sorcerer. Join forces. Make sword of light. Long battle. Dark one defeated. Peace returns. But if they beat him, what is he doing back? Not know. But know this. Your birth. Your coming. You are light. Light to banish dark. But how? Not know. Seedlings. Huh? Seedlings of Yggdrasil, seedlings know all. Hmm. <clears throat> seedlings, yes! Give gift, follow, Temple of Dawn. Thank you. 
feelings ancient, sacred, protect land, remember. Feeling here, remember, but not dark one, not how to beat. But ceilings below, on land, three ceilings. These two remember, perhaps how to beat, perhaps. Guiding light here, raise hand. Wait, the mark! Whoa! Did all that light just get squished down into that little thing? Awakens power, power of luminary. Will be useful, help to find, find how to beat. Here, Elder. Uh, hmm? uh, oh. uh. Elder! Must awaken power. Power of companions. Elder walks! Praise be! Companions have light. Light of hope. Must kindle. Strengthen. Leaves of Yggdrasil. Children of World Tree. Shine forth. Oh, yeah! I feel amazing! Some say light brings dark. Luminary brings dark one. Not so. Mistaken. Luminary must end this. Break cycle. Ig dragons. Blessings. Oh. Oh. Elder! <laughs> Waking tires, Elder. Walking tires, Elder. We will carry. <laughs> Very well. To the lands below. Let us seek out these seedlings. <laughs> <laughs> 